Hello, my name is Elijah Ignatieff, and I'm the originator of the Inflow Matrix Operating System and the New Paradigm Toolkit. Within the Inflow Matrix Operating System is a series of maps, and these maps organize your mind and they organize your business in regards to how the information flows. And it is very unique in that it has multiple time cycles, and at each time cycle, there's a different synergy lens, and then there's a different flow lens. So these three focus the mind to see what actually is in that perspective. And in order to do this, you have to be open to learning a completely new system. It's color coded. It has multiple time cycles. It has multiple levels of conceptual lenses that come together to form a whole business thinking system that you can custom design to any job any organization and or any community. So let's get started. Up here, you see a business field and you see the group space. This is one of 30 field spaces that, or space fields, that create the major context framing for whatever conversation that is going to be framed by this framework. And so let's take a look at where the group space comes from. This model is called the five communication spaces. You have your personal space, your one on one space, your group space, and your community space, and your sacred space. And these spaces are looked upon as being the foundational communication boundaries for all human beings. And what we're looking at at this framework is the group space. So now you understand where that map is. So this group space means we're in one of those five spaces and this is the group space. Now, if we go over here to the business field, let's look at the model that comes from. So in the inflow matrix, there are six meta field meta field for conversations. And these are the six right here. We have the social, the service field, the business field, the intimate field, friendship field, and the family field. And right now we're looking specifically at the business field where we're looking at some type of economic transaction is taking place or wants to take place or will take place. So in this framework, we have 30 different possibilities and the business field in the group space is what this is going to be used for. So when you, we bring all these frameworks together and imagine eight or 10 people inside of Zoom, each one is gonna have a different framework, but they're all gonna have a business field and they're all gonna be in a group space because that's the context for what is bringing this conversation together. That makes it very defined and takes away any type of looseness or gray areas. It gets very specific about the type of conversation that you're in or that you wanna facilitate. Now let's take a look at the time translator, which is the underlying foundational time structure for the inflow matrix. Outside, we have the lifetime cycle. That's the purple wheel. Then the blue wheel is we have the year cycle. The lunar cycle is aquamarine. The green cycle is the daily cycle. The mid cycle or the yellow cycle is the seasonal cycle. And it's a midpoint a little structure and a time is different there. Pink is the hourly cycle. Orange is the minute cycle, red is the present moment, and timelessness is the center point. Now, these time cycles you will see in the frames that you're about to see, all are one, each framework has one time cycle that it is acting as the foundational perspective for. So if you're looking through one of the, the, um, the blue framework, you're going to be looking at the year. If you're looking through the aquamarine one, you're going to be looking through a lunar cycle. So what this is doing is it's teaching humans to view whatever is the situation or the context or the event from multiple time cycles with multiple concepts to take into account the whole system for the whole business system. So we'll be looking at research, infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, services, marketing, stewardship, and communication in the middle. 
So each of those words fits on this time translator with a direct correlation of one concept. I know this sounds like a lot, but this is the beginning of creating a multidimensional thinking system that is going to be the same in your mind as it is in the software that we're going to create together. Every idea begins with research. At some point, you start digging into something and you go deeper and deeper and deeper. And that something is usually a field. The field might be physics, it might be biology, it might be your house, it might be your relationship, it might be your country, it might be anything could actually be a field. And that's why it's such a great word to use. Now, research within a business system is operating on a much slower time cycle than everything else. Up here, we have your lifetime. And we need to see things in terms of seven generations. We need to see things in terms of long-term effect. And research should actually be very dedicated. It should be very committed. It should happen from a depth of being that is grounded in the truth of reality. And in order for that to happen, you sometimes have to see something over many generations, or you have to see something over long cycles of time. And we're in a very fast culture. We want to know things quick and we want to get to certain, certain things quick. And it doesn't always happen that way. So whoever is at this place is usually looking from, a, again, a multi-generational point of view to see how the, the, the services at seven uh, can really be utilized the best. So it's kind of like having Mr. Spock there on the bridge and he's watching everything and he's the science officer and he's taking into account everything that's occurring, has this incredible database of knowledge. And when the captain asks him for an answer, he's got something usually based upon his years and years of research. So that is what that is. Next, we have the yearly cycle and infrastructure and resources. And this is sort of like the place of accounting. This is the place where all the resources are coming into the system and then passed out to everything else in the system. So this is the basis, the foundational infrastructure of your whole business system and connecting to the business infrastructures of all the other systems out there. So this is where the money goes. This is where the resources goes. This is where the people go. This is where everything is being organized as an infrastructure in order to create your product at 3.5 and 2.5, right? So these systems connect to one another in information, energy, and money and people flows, but that's behind the scenes. Right here, the person who's in charge of infrastructure is organizing everything that is occurring and making sure that everyone is getting what they need at the right time. Next, we have the lunar cycle, where we're looking at 13 lunar cycles in one year. So this is actually contained in the cycle above it at infrastructure and resources. Here, the focus point is learning jobs. This is where the first officer is. This is where the person who's controlling all the people in the organization or your ship and telling them what to do, when to do it, how to do it, making sure that all the work is getting done for the captain, who's at 3.9. So here we have somebody who's very motivational, someone who's a coach, someone who's a teacher, someone who can help everyone in the business system or your ship learn what they have to do and work in unison together to get all the work done in order to achieve the purpose, mission, and goals of the system. This is how we get down to brass tacks with the daily cycle. This is your operations and your activities for what is occurring inside your business system. This is all the work that has to get done in order for the business to thrive, but you're not actually getting paid for from an outside source. It's like sweeping the floors, cleaning, cleaning the dishes, um, moving the boxes. Everything basically that is in a business system that needs to get done is an activity being done by somebody at 2.3 who has a job. Right. So the job is doing activities in a field using the resources so they can make the products at 3.5 and 2.5. Here is the prime reference point for the whole business system. You have the seasonal cycle and this reference point is due to the fact that wintertime is going to affect your products differently from your summertime, no matter what, right? Depending upon where you live in the world, but humans operate very differently season to season. And it's the best reference point for organizing what you're going to be creating in your world. And so 3.5 uh, creativity, 2.5 products, this is what, where you are building 
creating whatever it is in your business system. This is where your artists go. This is where your creators go. This is where your engineers go. This is where you're, you're actually manufacturing, building the products that are about to go into the world. Now, the product might be a person, and that person is going to actually be using their gifts, which is more of the new paradigm word for product in terms of what is the prime reference point for organizing your whole system. So what we're trying to do is bring humans together who have incredible gifts, who then build these products that go into the world so that you can create the lifestyle that you want. Now what we have is where the people are. This is the synergy of the relationships in the hourly cycle. We're looking at it hour to hour because we're paid by the hour. We're also spending time with people on an hour to hour basis. You may spend a half hour here, an hour there with that person, two hours over there with that person, maybe the whole day with these six people. Your relationships are dictated by the amount of time that you're gonna spend with people based upon the amount of hours that you do in a day, right? So it's short, it's concise, it's specific, and how well all these relationships work together are gonna to be, is that a spelling mistake? Relationships, is that an A or an S? Oh, Jesus, there's always something that can go off, eh? Anyway, whoever's gonna be here is gonna be the person who's in charge of all of the relationships and making sure that everything's tickety-boo going real well. At services, this is your direct connection to your customer. This is your minute-to-minute -minute path that the person is going on to get your services and the path that the people who are giving the services to the people. Now, this could be a mental path or it could be a physical path. The mental path is the conversations that you're having with the people. The physical path is just where you're walking. And so this is very fast compared to all the other time signatures because this is happening in the present moment with your customer, making sure that everything is going well. Marketing is in the present moment because marketing is happening all the time. There is no end to your marketing strategies. They're going to be online. They're going to be offline. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen today. You never know when it's going to happen. And whoever is in this spot is multitasking, doing multiple things, great at negotiating, great at bringing contracts in, great at bringing work in. They're kind of lazy because they actually don't want to spend that much time doing all the work. So they come up with smart ideas about how to bring the work into the system. Your marketer is completely different from everybody else. They're the one who's outside of the system, going to the parties, going to the events, going to the trade shows, going to the places where they know they're going to meet the potential customers. So they're going to get the customers and then bring the customers into the business system where they're going to be served at services or at five, at creativity, depending upon what kind of business you run. Finally, the last framework is timelessness and stewardship and agreements. Your whole business is based upon your agreements with your relationships from the position of what product you have and what jobs you have in your business. And so the captain is here. The captain is arranging all of the contracts to make sure that the uh, products are delivered and all the people are paid inside their system. And so this is a place where management would be in the old paradigm, but it's stewardship in the new paradigm. It's not a hierarchy over. We're trying to create like a, a nurturing, a loving environment so people can thrive and their gifts can come out in the open. That's not always so easy. So you need a real smart captain to do that. So this is just a brief introduction into the uh, 10 different interfaces of the inflow matrix synergy wheel. <clears throat> I'm working with three projects right now <clears throat> that could possibly test these out if you feel like it. I have made the background interfaces for you, and that's the Lucille Foundation, uh, the Yorkton Shared Knowledge Community, and the Mother's Hands Project uh, to bring uh, food security into all the reserves in Canada with James Waters. So we have three exciting projects that are on the go right now. And if you're actually interested in bringing your project into this and have the use of these interfaces, I am looking for other uh, pioneers in human evolution who wish to create something called a shared knowledge community. 
of which these screens are part of. So the inflow matrix is an operating system to build a new paradigm structure called a shared knowledge community, where you bring your gifts at these specific places and you all work together as a whole to basically create your ideal job for yourself and uh, work on products and projects that your heart is drawn to. And so it's a completely different way of doing business. And if you're interested, you can contact me. I, my name is Elijah Ignatieff. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video and for uh, any feedback, that would be great because uh, I always know as I'm doing this that I'm just doing it on the fly and uh, I miss a lot. So tell me what I missed.